My name is Dr. Alan Watson. I'm an ophthalmologist in St. Joseph, Missouri, and we're here today to talk about eye problems. Contact lenses have changed over the years. The first contact lenses were seen in pilots of German biplanes back in World War I. Um, people that were flying planes back then had trouble with using their goggles because their glasses would fog up and they couldn't see how to fly their bi biplane. And so some German ophthalmologists back um, in World War I developed a lens that the pilot could put on their eye and provide correction for their nearsightedness or astigmatism. Those first contact lenses were actually made out of glass. They were quite large and as you could probably well imagine, very uncomfortable. But it did get the uh, pilot to where he could wear his goggles and protect his eye and see in adverse situations. Um, over time, uh, that material became replaced by what's called polymethyl methacrylate or PMMA and that was the hard contact lens that was very durable but it didn't allow the oxygen to penetrate the contact lens and get into the cornea. Your cornea, the surface of your eye, actually gets the oxygen in good part from the air around us and, and that oxygen which is in the ambient air is necessary for that tissue to stay alive and so that's how the gas permeable contact lenses first came into being because it allowed that oxygen to penetrate the contact lens material and get to the cornea of the eye where it's needed to keep the front of your eye healthy and intact. Soft contact lenses are a type of plastic that's flexible and those contact lenses are generally much more um, comfortable for patients. They don't correct astigmatism as well as the gas permeable lenses, especially for high degrees of astigmatism because the soft contact lens needs a little weight at the bottom to keep the contact lens material oriented in the proper position to treat the football shape of the eye that we talked about earlier with astigmatism. It wouldn't help your astigmatism at all if the axis of the football wasn't aligned appropriately with the corrective lens and so these weights on the contact allow those patients to, to function but those contact lenses themselves are usually just made through an extrusion process with plastics and molds and the molds are set uh, to correct the different degrees of nearsightedness or the different degrees of astigmatism. This has been Dr. Alan Watson, ophthalmologist in St. Joseph, Missouri discussing different eye problems and the treatment of different eye problems with you.